So we have a new project to start today. It is not wedding related, it's always exciting. And we have a visitor coming over, of course, did not take long. Hello, cat. Um, so the project we're gonna be working on today is going to be artwork used as an album cover. Hi, Dida. But because it's going to be on the more landscapey side of things, which is not my normal, I'm going to do some color swatching and some trial pieces before I get to the actual piece. So I'm going to start by getting my palette ready. These are all the colors from the last project we had, which I'm not going to take out. I'm going to use as my base for some of the other things that we'll be painting today. But since we're starting with our color palette, I'm going to mix up some of these blues. These are going to be way, way, way too blue for what I'm using. So we're going to mix up some, some new colors here. So we're working on some abstract landscaping. This cat is just sitting right behind me trying to jump up on the table. But I do want some kind of oceany blues and some darker, moodier, kind of more along the like beigey blue side. So I've got my French ultramarine up at the top. This is going to be more of like a cornflower, but I also have some indigo in here as well, so a little bit darker. And then I'm going to use part of that blue and kind of mute it up a little bit with some of the peachy color from my last suite. And as always, I've got some color swatch paper here out some of these shades. Like this gray I just made over here is really fantastic. Oh, love it. Again, with the green, I do want to mute it up a little bit, so we're going to bring in a little bit of red. I can't actually say I'll be using any of that coral, but we've got it in case we want it. And then we've got a dark green blue here. I'm going to do the same thing and just mute it up quite a bit. We've got enough blue in there that that's going to turn a wee bit purple. other color we're going to need is going to be a brownie beige. So we're going to start with our oranges. Bring in some burnt sienna and some sienna. Maple's yellow. And some transparent brown. Some of that green that spilled over. Give us a nice muted color. Perfect. And then if we water that down, we've got like a nice. Was that car necessarily? Did it have to be that loud? It's a nice sand. How are we feeling about these stones? Maybe minus them. It's a little too blue. I like those. Very nice. Good, because that's what we're using. Oh, 
All right, now that we've got some color samples going on, I'm going to make some swatches this way as well. And of course, every time I rip the paper, the cat goes crazy. Um, so what I'm doing here is a little bit different than just my regular swatches. I'm going to be doing something similar to what I did for this project here, which is these are also going to be used for some styling pieces for the same project. Money says hello to everyone. She is the woofer. The wolf dog. All right. So the reason I'm going to do these individual studies for each of these colors is I want to see what they look like wet on wet, dry on dry, dry on wet. So we're going to experiment with a few of these colors. My green bled a little bit too much, so I'm gonna mix a little bit of it here. So the goal of these is really to see how each behaves. See what it looks like wet on wet, what happens when you add water on top of it, what happens when you add water next to it, add itself next to itself, to see how it bleeds. And then once those dry, I can use those to evaluate what colors, if any, need to be tweaked. I'm going to do one swatch of all the colors together. I have to say my table is not completely flat, so all of my paint is running to one edge of my palette. Interesting problems. Artist problems. Alright. Uh, once these guys sit here dry, I'm going to come back and take a look at them. Take a look at their values, how they look when they dry, how they look wet on wet, which parts of the paint I like the best, do I like it when it bleeds, do I need to avoid any of these colors bleeding together because they turn out muddy, and then we're going to go ahead and do a quad of practice landscapes 
so we can really perfect down what we're looking for and what techniques we want to repeat and which ones we want to avoid.